usually a studio will distribute a movie through the movie theaters. So the movie theaters get their cut, the studio gets their cut, the movie producers get their cut. But here, Taylor Swift has bypassed the movie studios because she is a huge mega brand. She doesn't need any more awareness. And so going directly to AMC theaters is a very big profitable venture for both Taylor Swift and AMC. So here in San Diego, for example, AMC is going to have in Mission Valley, you know, a big event around Taylor Swift with a DJ, a bracelet making event before the, the movie starts at six. At uh, the Regal in um, Parkway Plaza, they're going to have a Taylor Swift cover band. It is going to be on opening weekend, the biggest concert movie of all time. You know, right now they're expecting this movie to gross between 150 and 200 million dollars. The double coup for AMC theaters is that they're going to distribute the Beyonce concert as part of her Renaissance tour on December 1st. So we have two very powerful women really owning uh, the fourth quarter at the movies. Disney has been in price hiking mode all year between the price increases on Disney Plus, uh, their streaming service, the Disney parks. Now, granted, you know, they did announce um, last quarter that they're going to invest $60 billion in really expanding theme parks uh, around the world. And Southern California is an important part of that of that process. Parking increased by $5, the Genie app by $5, and these and these tickets. Uh, by as much as $15. Now, what's interesting um, is that Disney did say, you know, to make it a little bit more palatable, they expanded the number of rides that are available on the Genie Plus app. And the goal for Disney, from a strategy perspective, is they want to move people to go from the high volume days, the high demand days, to lower demand days. So they did not raise the price on one tier, which is their lowest demand day. Uh, they kept it at $104, which is pretty consistent with their pricing uh, five or six years ago. But their highest demand tier is now almost $200 to walk into Disney. So that family, if they're going in a high demand window just to get into the park before they buy food, before they buy merchandise, is going to spend nearly $1,000 to park, to get in, and to use the Genie Pass to you know move through the park more efficiently.